Hey up everybody, I'm just moving on to the next part now, loco, and I'm uh, I'm going to have a look at some pipe work I think. Uh, just before I do that though, uh, I had a comment from Tony, just for grace uh, name off the top of my head, but anyway Tony, uh, he said, because I'm getting to, loco's looking quite complete, he says when he gets to that stage he makes a list out, well I normally make a list out, you know, on little parts that I'm doing, what I've got to do on that, but I never go to extent to making a full list out. Anyway Tony, I've made my list out and I've got two A4 sheets here and I'm still writing. So <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder whether I should have had that six month off. Because there's still quite a lot to do. I know they're only little fiddly jobs but they all take time anyway. I've done that now Tony so uh, thanks for that. And then other thing I'm going to say is, going on to this pipe work, and I know you experienced loco builders out there, it's going to be, this all this is going to be simple for you, I know that. But I'm doing it from a beginner's perspective, and f for beginners, and I'm just logging everything so that anybody that don't quite know, um, has got no experience, should I say, it might, it might help them to get more involved in this wonderful hobby that we do uh, and I'm learning as I go along so what I'm trying to say is for all you experienced people I know this is going to be, look quite simple uh, right so what I'm doing then uh, let's have a look at this pipe work first I think when when you look at people's locos and you see all the pipe work on it, it looks a bit daunting sometimes. It just looks like spaghetti junction sometimes and this pipe's going all over the place. So it does look complicated, but I think when you take it step by step and have a look at drawing, I think especially on Sweet Pea, I think it'll be I think I don't think it's that difficult. So on Sweet Pea then you've got You've mainly got 3 sixteenths pipe for, for most of stuff, except the whistle pipe's 5 30 second and the blower pipe's 1 eighth. And then on to tank side, you've got a balance pipe that's a quarter. So they're the four sizes. Uh, I don't know if it matters if you deviate from that, I don't know, but I'll stick to drawing anyway. So they're the four sizes. And I think the main one's going to be 3 16 pipe. Uh, right, so what I've been doing then over on lathe, I'm just starting to make some unions and some nuts and olives. Now, I know what you're saying, why don't I go out and buy them? Well, two reasons why. A, I like to make everything if I can. And B, while I'm waiting for postage in this climate that we're in, 7 to 10 days, I'm, I can be on lathe and have them made. But I don't usually do things that quite as simple as even that. <laughs> I'm a bit of a masochist really. And what I'm doing, if you've seen me videos I'm doing with low valves and me uh, blower elbow for example and me bypass valve and me hand pump, what I'm doing, I've got some offcuts of phosphor bronze. It's really good quality stuff this. And I'm, uh, I'm hacking away at this these phosphor bronze cutoffs, doing a bit of cardiovascular work on them till I get them down to a suitable size to go from that, for instance, to that. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. I've just made a this is a, a union a, a adapter for my steam injector. I've got the union made. 532 by 40 thread and I've got the olives made and the nuts so that's my first one that I've done quite a lot more to do yet So this is going to be for to steam injector what we're moving on to. I'll take this 
take this in bite size bit by bit then any beginners out there are going to understand better what I'm doing on each on each bit of pipe work so I'll move over to loco now then and we'll take a look at this where this uh, steam injector pipe is going to come from manifold to cab floor then through cab on this union I'll see you over at loco then on my manifold I've got three I've got three valves plus me um, pressure gauge so one of the valves is for the injector one of the valves is going to go to the blower at the front and then the other valve which will probably be changed at a later date is for the whistle the only other pipe work on, on front is where you blow your sight glasses out two pipes have got to come down for them so let's I'm just going to make a start with the um, injector first then I've made my union and I'm going to tee into one of these valves it's a 5 16 by 40 thread I'm going to tee into one of them valves and come around my boiler and then I've got to drill a hole in the cab floor here for this union to sit in so that I can connect this pipe to the top of it and then underneath that's where the injector is going to be and then I can feed that in the injector into the underneath underneath the cab floor and then on this side in the front of the boiler I've got to put this elbow in the smoke box for the blower the blower pipe and the blower pipe's going to come off one of these valves and come down here and come through the cab here at the back and follow the boiler down to the front so that's all I'm going to concentrate on for the moment um, like I said in one of my earlier videos it's no good overloading just take one step at a time and then uh, once I get that done we'll move on I can probably put the cab back then and then we'll move on to, to um, hand pump and balance pipe and all other water pipes and then it's uh, there's still the oil pipes to do I'm going to get my measurements sorted out where I'm going to drill this hole and then we'll reconvene thanks for watching and I'll catch you on my next video bye for now